Welcome to the Ride Commute List Show, where today we will be discussing commuting around Toronto. Have a seat. Magic. On September 27th, the TTC carried its 29 billionth customer since its inception in 1921. In 2013, the TTC set an all-time new record of 525 million rides, besting its previous record of 514 million in 2012. The TTC's ridership has increased each year for the past 10 years and is the third largest ridership in North America. While traveling around the TTC, you may notice that there are about 289 escalators that you can travel on which means if you were to stack those escalators on top of each other in the middle of the city for some reason and travel all the way to the top, you would be going about three times the height of the CN Tower. Looking down the city. Let's do that. Can we build this escalator right now? You might be wondering, I'm sitting on the TTC. There's a lot of people on here, quite a bit. I wonder how many people are traveling on this today? The answer, one million. 600,000. So you're still sitting on the cell. Great. Now what? Well, now I guess I could tell you what day of the year people ride this thing the most. So you can know that too. Um, and that day is November 28th. Why? My birthday. No. The number is 525 million. What is that number? It's the number of people riding the TTC in a year. Top five busiest rail stations in Toronto, starting with Bloor and Young, St. George, Union, Finch, and Eglinton. Five. Sparkles. Top five busiest routes in Toronto, the 504, the 32, the 35, the 36, the 510. The total kilometers of the TTC routes add up to 7,370. Some of the strategic objectives of the TTC are customer service, safety, assets, financial sustainability, growth, and finally, reputation. <coughs> so the TTC has a total of 10,000 stops, 7,000 of which are accessible stops. To fill the gap, the TTC offers a wheel trans program that provides a to your door service for those with accessibility needs. In 2013, the TTC Wheel Trans program provided almost 3 million rides. The TTC has 27 commuter parking lots with over 12,000 spaces. The TTC's fleet consists of 1,851 buses, 247 streetcars, and 732 subway cars, and zero spaceships. How many people work at the TTC? 12,803. One subway train replaces 960 cars at Russia. The Toronto York Spadina subway extension is the first time the subway is reaching beyond Toronto's municipal boundaries. My favorite news station? Pioneer Village. The DTC is governed by 11 board members, seven of which are elected councillors and four citizen representatives. The Unlimited Ride Metro Pass was introduced in 1980 and the weekly ride Metro Pass was introduced in 1990. In 1966, the city of Toronto decided to abolish streetcars and replace them with buses, taking out the tracks, doing a bunch of work. Six years later, we got them back. Good job, guys. In 1892, the TTC introduced its first electric street. Two years later, it retired its last horse-drawn street. Bonus fact, the TTC streetcars used to be two horse cars. Well, thanks for watching the Ride Commute List Show. I'm your host, Robin Blanchard, some guy you've never heard of, and I'm leaving now, so see ya. My producers told me to be sassy. So the TTC has been getting better the past 10 years based on these facts? Or has it? Fact number two. I forgot it. The third. 
Yeah. Back four. Back six. That's that was creepy. The TTC has 27 commuter parking lots with over 12,000 spaces. No. Doesn't matter. Twelve thousand. Eight hundred. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Woo!